come back. Sorry. So, I'm going to wait for people to come on. chakra run through <coughs> and this is like my third video doing this or something so I'm getting less nervous and I think I'm getting better at it okay so um in a minute I'm gonna start considering my energy. Okay, so everybody's going to start doing a breathing technique, okay? And the breathing technique that we're going to use is called the snake breathing technique, okay? And you're going to put your tongue behind your top two teeth and when you breathe in you're gonna make a hissing like it's gonna sound like you're hissing like a snake and then you're just gonna exhale okay and you're gonna do this uh just inhale all the way fill your lungs completely and then exhale okay and we're just gonna do this you know about 10 times and then uh we'll do this during the, the process the whole time i'll have you keep focusing on the breathing uh, as we run through each chakra, okay? So right now, go ahead and start breathing with me, okay? Put your tongue behind your two front teeth. And when, remember when you breathe in to make the hissing sound. And then to exhale, okay? All the way in and out. Just like this. I do this feel free to comment exactly how you feel what you see what you think and if you need help okay that way I can help you open the gate so first I want everybody to close your eyes and I want you to picture yourself floating in a black void that is you know it's 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 eternity it's it's deathless. You're floating in this black void. Just visualize it, okay? And you're floating in their Indian style. Your hair all around you. If you have hair. Your body will look like it's glowing, kind of. You may be clothed or unclothed. It depends on what you see. And keep breathing in and out as you do this. Now, in that void, I want you to picture your root chakra. This is going to be at the base of your spine, basically, like in your, in your uh, anal region, basically. 
okay? So at the base of your spine, where your root chakra is, I want you to picture it like it blinks, okay? Like it activates red, you know, like this. And when you see that activation of the red, I want it to glow, and you're going to see it glow brighter and brighter and expand a little bit, okay? And then you're going to breathe like this, deeply in and out, okay? And then you're going to picture always the way I do it. You're going to picture in the void where you're floating, where you see the red activation, you're going to picture a red door. When you see the red door, you can type and say yes in the comments. Picture the red door in your root chakra in the void that you are floating in. And continue to breathe deeply. Okay, now, on the red door, there's going to be a carving. The carving is the, is the root chakra outline. You don't have to know what it looks like. It'll just appear there. Somehow, it'll just be there. <coughs> when you see this, on the count of three, I want you to visualize the red door opening, okay? One, two, three. Your red door opens. What's inside your red door? Feel free to explain. If you see black, that's perfectly fine. And it's part of the process as well. Continue to breathe deeply. Did everyone's door open? is usually what people see in the store. I do all the time. It's like going back to the void. It's like it's like you opened your root, right? And what you did when you saw yourself floating in the void, and when you saw that red activation, and when you saw the red door open, and when we said, you know, one, two, three, and the red door opened, and then you saw black, nothingness, what you did was you reconnected back to the void. And you reconnected yourself to what you are, which is basically just existing. You saw a lotus. That's beautiful. A lot of people see that. White? Well, then go to your white void. Flow with whatever comes. That's the beauty of this procedure, is that it's so <laughs> baphomet in yours. That's a, a rare one to see in there. That's a good thing to see in there, you know? So, now that everyone's got their door open, what I am going to do is I want everybody to continue to breathe deeply. Okay. And when I count backwards from three, there's going to be a black snake that comes from everyone's red door. Okay. It's going to come out. Three, two, one. And as it comes out, it's going to rotate all around your body. And then it is going to flow back into your root where it coils, okay? And it coils and it stirs, okay? Like it rotates and it coils. And everybody will have their snake. Kundalini is now getting ready and it's coiled. And then we'll move up. So, now, I want everybody to make sure that they close their eyes. Now, reconnect or stay in the void wherever you are. Wherever you go is fine. Just go there. Let your mind take you there. So now, the snake 
wants to move upwards, right? It needs to move upwards. So, I, sitting over here in my body, in my sacral chakra, I open my sacral chakra. Okay, I want everybody to picture now that I am sitting across from them in the void. Wherever you are in the void, I want you to see me sitting there mirroring you. Okay? Indian style, floating, my root chakra, open, my snake coiled within. Okay? And I want you all to realize that when you look at me, when you look into the void, that my eyes are staring into yours. And I want you to take a minute and I want you to stare into my eyes. And notice that my eyes are staring into yours in the void. Lock those eyes with mine. And my sacral chakra beams an orange beam into yours, which is in your private region, and it ignites it into an orange flame. The orange flame will grow bigger before it begins to grow smaller a little bit and fades a little bit into a kindle. And then you see an orange door. When you see the orange door, type yes. And keep breathing deeply. The orange door will have a carving on it that glows. It is the carving of the sacral chakra. And keep breathing deeply now and the energy will become heavier or lighter, whatever it does to you. <coughs> now, on the count of five, you open your orange door. One, two, three, four, five. Your orange door opens and the snake from your root uncoils and moves all the way up into your sacral opening and it slithers upwards you can feel it slither upwards and it enters your sacral chakra and it coils and it stirs and it spins and you notice in the void that your eyes are locked on mine and that you see that my snake has wrote, has moved up into my sacral and has coiled and is rotating, and there's a beam of orange light connecting us. And you feel that energy right now. And I want everybody to tell me what they see, what they feel, what they think. As I vibe and I push energy towards you through my orange cord. Yes, it's very strong. You can tell because my eyes have shifted into very low. And it's okay if you feel very happy. And it's okay if at uh, you know, a time of this you just don't want to open your eyes. You can just listen. And now I want everybody to picture in the void Remember that you see the orange beam connecting us and that our eyes are locked. My eyes may even look white, completely white to some people. Yes, my eyes are white, <laughs> often all white. That's how you know when you're locking eyes with me, okay? So I want everybody to push. What you're gonna see is through that orange cord, you're going to see a glowing ball of orange light come from your sacral chakra into mine. Push it across into mine like, you're, like it's going through a straw. And I want everyone to do that for a moment, okay?
Yeah, it's okay to feel what you feel. Okay, we're all adults. <laughs> this is the power of divine sexual energy. You know, this is this is something that everybody should learn. This is something that should be harnessed. When you start to use it in your life, and you start to use it uh, in your relationships, uh, things will change, I promise. I'm glad that everybody's feeling the sacral like this. It's excellent. I can't I, I, I can't tell you all from the beginning, but I'm going to run through them several times, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now everybody go back to the void. Close your eyes. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And remember... So we're in the void. I'm mirroring you. You see that my root is glowing red and open the snake's tail. And that you see your root is glowing open the snake's tail there. You look across, you're looking into my eyes, they're white. You see my orange sacral chakra open. And the snake is in there coiled, moving around. And you see also that your orange chakra is open. And the snake is coiled, moving around. It's antsy, it wants to move up. It definitely wants to move up. So now we go into the solar plexus, okay? And here you feel a rise because in your solar plexus, what you're going to see is my favorite thing to see, which is going to be a big old ball of sun. It's going to be our sun here in the solar system. You're going to see our sun, okay? When you see the sun, you're going to see solar flares coming off of it, popping off, you can see all the planets rotate around your body. This is very important to establish because later on you can work some magic with all these planets. Planets are important, okay? So start rotating the planets around your body, okay? And in your solar plexus, when you see that sun, I want everybody to picture a yellow door. And type yes when you picture your yellow door. And keep breathing deeply. Yes. Okay. So as you continue to breathe deeply over and over and over, when I count backwards from 10, your yellow door will open. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, your door opened. Out came a light beam that shot directly into my solar plexus, which was a giant sun. The door was already open, if you noticed, and you shot it directly into mine. And now you see that we are connected with this as well. And your snake coiled moves and you can feel its body slither up slowly very very slowly into your solar plexus where it coils and starts to rotate <coughs> and now you will vibrate on this for a moment and breathe deeply okay and in the void you see us all connected and you notice that there's a web of us okay all of us there's a web okay now and we're connected in the void mirroring. And you see my eyes are all white. And your eyes may even be white. And you see that my root is open. Your root is open. The tails are there. My sacral is open. Your sacral is open. The body has moved through there. And the solar plexus in me is open. The solar plexus in you is open. And the snake is coiled. They're moving around, getting ready to move upwards. And we are connected through a beam of energy. And I want all of you to tell me how this feels as you visualize being connected at the bottom three chakras.
you keep breathing, okay? Don't ever stop breathing. <laughs> breathing should be easy. It should come naturally and comfortably. And your body will slow down, but tune up with what's supposed to feel with what it's supposed to be. You know, what happens is your energy slows you down and all the atoms in your body start to vibrate and understand what they are. And your brain, you see, as we open your heart chakra and you feel a green glow in your chest. Your brain realizes that it loves to feel comfortable and it, it loves to relax and breathe. And so when you see that, that green glow in your chest, in your heart, I want you to feel what it is to be a heart chakra. And I want you to understand that the color of the heart chakra is green because it's neutral. It has no happy or sad, it just is. And as you realize this, a green door appears in your heart chakra. This one is difficult to open. When you see the green door, tell me yes. And no, I'm not a Wiccan. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a Luciferian. Amongst many other things. I know that the heart chakra is difficult. But it's like you gotta connect to the color green. And you gotta realize that the snake is stuck in your solar. And it has to move up. We have to go in the heart chakra. You understand? We have to open the, the heart chakra. And I know that it's hard. But when you see the green door, because you see the color green, and you know that, that it is neither dark nor, nor light. It just is, because the heart just is. You see the green door now. Okay? And so when we see the green door... You're going to think of a time in your life where you were hurt very badly. And at the exact same time, the door is getting darker because you're on flow. Exactly. Before we even spoke it. That's where your telepathic flow opens up with me. This procedure is also telepathic in nature. That's why many of you can see things before I speak them. Now listen, I want you to think of a time where you were hurt very bad, but at the same exact time, I want you to think of a time where you were deeply, deeply, deeply aware of what love truly is. Perhaps when you were a mother, because I'm a mother, and that's what, that's what I know what love is. So we have it to where you are, you have both pain and love, Okay. And when I count upwards to ten, the door will open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And your door opens. I want everybody to tell me what's inside their door. The snake uncomfortably moves up into the heart chakra and coils around the heart. 
okay, coils around the heart and puts pressure on the heart, but does not hurt you, but coils around your heart, putting pressure. And speak to me and tell me what you see and feel and think and remember that we are in the void and I am mirroring you and your root and your solar and your sacral, I got it mixed up, <laughs> your root and your sacral and your solar and your heart are all open and beaming and the snake's tail starts at the bottom and its body has slowly slithered up into your heart where it has now taken kind of a hold on your heart. The snake takes a hold of our heart because it wants to remind us that although it is helping us raise our energy and our awareness, that there is still danger in the heart, and the heart is not to be treated lightly, and that the heart chakra should be taken care of. Now, we're going to go on to the throat chakra, okay? Remember, keep your breathing technique going, okay? So deep breaths again with me. And keep feeling that snake go from your root to your heart, 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 from your root to your heart. And now you see a blue glow in your throat. Now, on the count of backwards from three, three, two, one, water will come rushing down your throat. You cannot. It's hard for you because water is rushing down your throat. And this is your clogged throat chakra. Because you are holding back so many things in your throat chakra in your life and not using your voice properly. So I'm going to let you breathe. I'm going to unblock you because on the count of three, you will take a deep breath. One, two, three. And on the exhale, your throat chakra is unblocked. And the snake moves from your heart up into your throat, where it wraps around your throat like a necklace, but does not squeeze, just kind of knows that it's supposed to be wrapped around your throat and your shoulders. Do y'all get that? The wind, you can feel it when it goes in your chakras. <coughs> I'll do a video on elementals soon. That will be fun. That's something I haven't done live yet. Now, remember to close your eyes and keep your breathing, okay? Breathing in and out. remember that in the void have you noticed that you're still looking at me in the void that your eyes have not left mine at all not once in the void have your eyes left mine okay so when you see that notice now both of us are beamed up from the root to the sacral to the solar to the heart and to the throat the snake has coiled around our throat and its body has moved slowly up all the way up the body and you felt it slowly move up the body and we're about to move into the third eye are y'all ready for that
it's strong energy. <laughs> Okay, now, everybody go into the void, okay, close your eyes, notice that your eyes are locked on mine, and they're all white, okay, you feel something on your forehead in there, okay, you feel something on your forehead, what it is, is it's a little, it's an eye, and it's thing to open okay you want to rub it a little bit in there you can rub it to awaken it's sleepy so rub your third eye and open it and awaken it a little bit but when you look into my white eyes if you notice your gaze has brought you to my forehead where there's another white eye but this one is vertical not horizontal and it's wide open and it has caught you in your third eye which is completely open and staring directly into my third eye. And on the screen, on the screen, you look into my eyes, okay, for a moment. And the snake will move up through your mouth through your nostrils, even through your eye sockets, and it will infiltrate into your third eye, pushing itself inwards. You can feel it going in. When you do, I want you to look in the void into my third eye. And when you look into my third eye, I want you to realize that you're looking at a reflection of yourself and your eye. And when you see that, I want you to travel inside of your eye back into the void where you now see an infinite number of eyes all around you. They're there. And this is the eye of Ra. And you feel on the top of your head tingling because your crown wants to activate. And so on the top of your head, a ball of energy is collecting and collecting and collecting and it wants to form. And inside of the void, we are connected. And your third eye has shown you an infinite awareness of what it means to be. And so the snake moves up through your brain and it coils on the top of your head. And now running through your body, breathing deeply over and over, you run the snake from the root all the way to your crown, over and over, okay? Root to crown, to root, to crown, to root, to crown, to root, to crown, okay? To root and to crown. And it forms energy at the top of your crown. When you feel this, type yes. Keep moving the snake from your root to your crown. Root to your crown. Root to your crown. And collect the energy at your crown. And so, now... The snake turns into a halo and it rotates. And you have a halo, you have a crown. Some of you actually formed a crown. I can tell. Like a prince crown or a queen's crown. Some of you formed a ball of dark energy at the top. I can see it. It's not bad. It just is. And you're basically crowned off now. I'm going to teach you one last thing.
Okay. So, what you're doing now is you're feeling all this energy, okay, right? And you're feeling really, you know, maybe dizzy or you're feeling very vibrant, okay? And you're running the snake from your root to your crown over and over again, okay? You create an infinite loop of this energy, of this snake to this crown over and over and over. And it joins another snake and it coils and it coils. They coil each other like a spiral, okay? And they spiral up and they spiral down and they spiral out, you know, infinitely, and they work in your body infinitely, active, infinitely, and aware. And at the top of your head, you have your crown. Okay? And I want you to see that and feel that on the outside of your body, you are coated in a bubble of energy. The whole entire outside of your body has a film of energy on it. This is your astral body. This is your astral energy. This is the very beginning of how to create your astral energy. This is the basic foundation point. This is this is how it works. This is basic, but this is how it works. Okay? And from here, you're going to slow the energy snakes down. Because you don't want to overdo this. So, slow them down. Count backwards from 10 with me. And slow it down each time. 10. 9. Slow it down. Eight, bring your snake down from the crown. Seven, six, bring it down. Five, four, bring it down. Three, two, coil it into your root at one, where it stays as your new method and ability to open up your chakras with your new snake. So you have a pet snake now. It's black. <laughs> you can name it if you want. And now you can uh, you can open your chakras with that method anytime you want and relax anytime you want. And understand what it what it means to be relaxed and, and to run energy through your body and touch base on those things. Anyways, I feel all heavy and energy all energied. <laughs> so what do y'all think before I get off of here? Real quick, because I've been on here forever, I feel like. <coughs> you like your snake? I like my snake. Sometimes uh, when I do work... Okay, so this is like basic. Um, when I do one-on-one -on -one kundalini activations, um, it's completely personalized and different because I have a lot more time with it. Um... <laughs> Basically, this is just pretty basic, but it can get pretty interesting. I, I, I can at one point I had like I can have like thousands of snakes running up and down. Um, y'all wanna y'all wanna do something real quick? How about just just do this? Like, just stare into my eyes for like, stare into my eyes until you can't until you can no longer stare into my eyes. Okay, one second. staring <laughs> anyways I'm glad that y'all are feeling good and I'm glad that y'all saw some things in the void that um I'm that I, I put there for a reason, so that way when people see them, I know that I'm doing the proper work, you know? That's, you know, these are the beginning stages of using your telepathic abilities as a human being. It just gets more and more and more. The more you practice, the better you get. <laughs> Look at the Anubis in this fucking... I have all 
after he thinks that he already got my Lilith sigil. Look at it. Oh. And then I've got some like that for me. Then I've got my Anubis. And then I've got this knife. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm gonna go, guys. Thank you for watching.